Yep. Now we're going to do GitHub SSH authentication. And so if you go and you look at your GitHub account, and you go into your account, you have your profile. Oops, you have your settings. And then you have SSH. So here's for my Mac, here's for my Mac Mini, here's for my garage recording PC. And I could create a new SSH key. Well, I could enter a new SSH key. So SSH is secure shell and allows you to authenticate. I'm going to put some mumbo jumbo here at GitHub that's going to say, hey, this same mumbo jumbo is on this computer. And so when my computer talks to GitHub, GitHub will look, is that mumbo jumbo there? And then I'll know it's me. It's like a secret word, like the little rascals, right? Remember they used to, what, have a little word you have to get into the clubhouse? You guys don't know what the little rascals are. So uh, I want to look at create SSH key Mac. And if you're using Git Bash, it'll do it like this on Windows too. All right, so I just click, you know, that looks confusing. There's one I've clicked before. Let's see if it's any good. SSH key gen T RSA. Whoop. Okay. So there's a place where it'll get generated on uh, Windows. It's going to be in an SSH folder. So if I just go CD, it takes me back to my user account. So P PWD, right now I'm at users Todd McLeod, Tim, for example. CD and PWD, I'm at users Todd McLeod. If I list what's in there, LS lists, LS-LA lists all. So let me add those in to your commands. Terminal commands. CD, LS, LS-LA, list, list all. Here. I have an SSH folder. It's hidden. It's got a dot in front of it. Somewhere in Windows you will have two. Or it'll get created for you. If I CD into .ssh and ls la what's in there, I have id rsa, id is those things, right? So this is like public, this is private. So now if I do that SSH keygen -t rsa going to take me through the process. Enter file in which you save the key. It's saying ID R R S A. I might do ID ID temp. All right, it could be anything. And I'm just going to hit enter for a passphrase. Nothing. And same thing again. If I wanted it extra secure, I'd create some security thing, some password, but it's secure enough as it is for our, our purposes. That's all I know about that, and I know that somebody who knows more told me that. I don't know anything beyond that. So I just generated that. So if I LSLA again, I now have ID temp and ID temp pub. So I would cat the ID temp pub one. That's public. So I'm going to just print it out, and that's what cat does. So cat something pub. What's it called? It temp something dot pub. All right, it's going to be something like that. So I cat that out, and then I copy the whole thing. Including this up here, copy that all. And I go to GitHub, and I just say whatever, my school yo thing, machine, paste it in there add it. You only want to add these to your computer. You don't want them add them to school computers. My, I'm going to take school out, my yo thing machine. And then I'd add it. So when that's added, I'm not going to add this one, so I'm just going to go back to the profile. If I look at my settings, just make sure that didn't add for some dumb reason. I didn't just show something I didn't want to show. IP addresses, I think that's all fine. So it didn't add it, right? But now, you know, with my repo here, 
my new repository temp for example I'm going to be able to do some cool things with that and we'll see it in the next video this one was all about just setting up your SSH key